just some casual chess. We're 15 and 5. Let's see how we can crack on. It's going to push through the center. And, you know, I'm going to follow suit. Hit the center now. <clears throat> Take the pawn. I don't need to move that fast, but it's pretty clear where I'm kind of targeting. Let's get the knight up. Let's get the bishop out, ready for castling. Nothing fantastic or great, but it's good enough to make sure my king is safe. And then we've got to think of giving our king some company at some point. Don't want to make it feel alone. Knight's looking, probably going to be sinking here. This pawn doesn't have any, well it does, but the queen's protecting. Let's bring the rook into the game, supporting, overly supporting the knight. Let's take this off the board. So the bishop's looking for a stealth. Oh, I thought it was going to be taken with the pawn, but never mind. So it's taken with the bishop. We can jump here, but the queen is protecting that pawn. Could attack the bishop, see what he wants to do. He wants to double our pawns. Gives us a bit of strength on this area here. I think I'm going to go with that. This move is frowned upon. You know, just doubling your pawns. It's not a good thing. But I like it. So we'll do the preemptive. Yep. So how do we make it work? We've got forces here. Queen's protecting the knight currently. I'm going to attack the knight. So as you can see, we're trying to make a little bit, a bit of an inroad. I mean, he can castle straight forward. Pawn takes on the bishop. Bishop's going to be moving. All right, so the bishop moves. Let's attack the bishop. Queen wants to go in front of our rook, yes? Okay, so don't forget our rook is facing here. So we could come here with our queen, but then obviously it's an even exchange. Could bring the queen here for a two-on-one on, on the pawn. I think that's what we'll do. Went even brought the 15-minute mark here. So it's going for a simple exchange. So we could actually take a pawn while we're doing that. And then just take the queen. And then now looking to target the pawn. Obviously the rook is going to defend. It's not defending. It's looking to double up his rooks on our pawns. And the rook in front of the king, maybe. No, he's not doing that either. Let's take here. We have a bit of a pawn majority on this side. So I can go up and put a check on and get this pawn off the board. Now he's trapped his king in the back. He's coming for the pawn here. We can defend. And then he's going to come for this pawn and we can defend. So, oh, and they've given up. They've given up. All right, nice game. So we could go and just attack a pawn. And now start pushing up. And capture. Just let them take, just keep pushing. And capture. Just keep pushing. Push, and that will be checkmate. Very smooth game, that, 15 and 5. Yep, good practice. Nice one.